Hello, everyone. I'm sorry that I'm not able to be with you there for this occasion. This is an important moment for an important institution. This center has provided vital information and valuable analysis to both Nebraska and the nation for the past 10 years through facilitating research and coordinating communication among public policy experts. The center's primary focus is on public participation and democracy. And I think energy issues are an excellent example of the importance of citizen engagement on policy matters. Energy policy affects us all. We all rely on the energy system for every aspect of our daily lives, and we share the responsibility for its improvement and for the policies needed to ensure our national energy security. In our day-to-day -day activities, we can start by conserving the energy we use. About half of the annual energy bill for Nebraskans goes to heat our homes. Turn down the thermostat, lowering it by just one degree, can reduce heating energy costs by 4%. Vehicle fuel economy can be improved with a few simple measures. Tuning the engine improves fuel efficiency by 4%. Using the recommended grade of motor oil improves it by 1% to 2%. Cleaning or replacing air filters helps us up to 10%. The biggest improvement in fuel economy comes from obeying the speed limit, which improves uh, fuel economy by 7 to 23%. The use of compact Fluorescent bulbs instead of incandescent bulbs can also save Nebraska households about $90 over the lifetime of the bulbs. Now, I'm sure most of you know this already, but it's an important reminder that we each have a part to play in energy conservation. Not only does it save energy to be used elsewhere within the system, but also saves you money. Investing in renewable energies can also be an important way to encourage innovation and the creation of green industries and jobs. It's important that the public both invest in these technologies on its own while supporting and encouraging policymakers to continue federal, state, and local investments in these technologies. We can outfit homes and buildings with solar panels, buy hybrid or flex fuel vehicles, or push for a greater percentage of power from wind resources. And these are just examples of how we can continue to develop our energy future. I've been working for several months with a bipartisan group in Congress on comprehensive national energy legislation. Our plan would increase domestic energy, expand renewable energies such as solar and wind, as well as retool Detroit to ensure cleaner and more efficient vehicles. This group got together in the first place because the concerns of citizens were being lost in the political and partisan back and forth. We all have at stake in our nation's move toward cleaner, more efficient, and renewable energies that can be produced domestically. That move will serve as a great example of democracy in action. So best of luck to the Public Policy Center and 10 more years of work for better and more inclusive public policy. Thank you very much.